Zeromag is the only automatic demagnetizer designed specifically to overcome magnetic arc flow. And this video will show you how to 1. Identify magnetism 2. Deploy Zeromag and 3. Remove the magnetism using automatic and manual modes. Step 1. Identify magnetism. Usually, you will know you have magnetism problems because the welder is complaining that he can't get good quality welds and the arc is pulling to one side, not going where he wants. In extreme cases, he will not be able to strike and keep an arc at all. This is demonstrated in one of our other videos. Magnetic arc blow spectacular. Here you see two sections of pipe on stands that are magnetised. But don't take our word for it. See how the steel spanner attracts to the pipe? The magnetism is so bad that the spanner can be hung on the pipe. You can use any steel for this test. A welder will often notice that his welding rod sticks to the pipe. This is a good first check, but be careful because if the spanner was already magnetised, it will stick to the pipe even if the pipe were not magnetised. To be sure about the magnetism, you should use a meter that measures magnetic field, a Gauss meter, to test the field in the weld prep. Diverse supply a handheld magnetar shown here that is ideal for this. It has a thin, robust, stainless steel sheath probe designed for the welding environment. This is supplied as part of the demagnetizing kit for pipe welders, or DKPW, used by leading welding companies around the world for overcoming magnetic arc flow. Here you see the operator probing the field in the weld prep. In order to find the maximum magnetic field, we have now changed the magmeter operation to peak mode. The maximum field in this case is 1084 gauss in one direction and 0 gauss in the other. This is significantly greater than the fields at which arc wonder starts to occur, typically around 40 gauss, although this does vary depending on the welding type. We have identified a magnetic problem exists, so require zero mag for this job. Step 2. Deploying zero mag with DMAG cables and clamp coils. To overcome the magnetic field, zero mag is used to produce a reverse field to cancel out the field in the steel. Zero mag gets access to the magnetic field in the pipe through the demagnetizing cable which is round it. DKPW is supplied with 100 meters of cable in two lengths, shown here. These can readily be wound round the pipe as shown. Typically, 10 to 12 turns are recommended each side of the prep as shown. In production scenarios, diverse supply clamp coils. These are manufactured to fit the particular pipe size and have been supplied from a smaller 6 inches diameter up to 42 inches diameter. These each provide 25 turns of demagnetizing cable. As you can see, these are very quick to deploy. It is important that the red connector blocks are both on the same side of the pipe. If not, the two coils will cancel each other. Clamp coils are supplied with cables to connect to the zero mag. Step 3. Using zero mag in automatic mode. It is usually convenient to operate the zero mag on its base as shown. Other than the cable there are two other connections to be made. Power lead and the air cooled probe. The zero mag probe usually has to operate in harsh high temperature environment and needs to be protected from over temperature with forced air cooling. So, when operating with preheated pipes or working in automatic mode, an airline should be connected to the manifold to keep the sensor cool. Air comes out of the silencer away from the weld region. Here we will use the probe without the airline connected. The operator is now holding the probe away from any steel and zeroing the gauss meter. With the probe in the weld prep, you will see that the zero mag display now registers the magnetic field in gauss. Here the mode switch on zero mag is set to auto now ready to proceed. Pressing the green start button causes the field to be nulled. Note how the spanner has fallen off the pipe and the display reads just a few gauss. In this state, welding could commence with the probe tracking ahead of the welding rod. Once welding is complete, the red button is pressed to stop zero mag. Step 4. Using zero mag in manual nulling mode. Manual nulling is similar to automatic nulling and requires the mode switch on manual. Note how the field can be modified by adjusting the current control knob. This gives us complete control over the field in the pipe. It is possible to make the field worse as well as better. By adjusting the control, we can reduce the magnetic field in the weld prep to zero, as seen on the Gauss meter display. The probe can now be removed from the weld prep and we are ready to weld.
At the end of the welding, it is good practice to adjust the current control back to the centre and switch to auto. That's how easy magnetic field nulling is with Zero Mag. To see Zero Mag operated in degaussing mode rather than nulling, see our video on joint degaussing. For more information, visit us at diverse-technologies.net.